one of my favorite Filipino romantic movie of all time is One More Chance. Doon sa One More Chance, nag-break sila, tapos binigyan nila ng chance yung isa't isa, nagkabalikan sila, and then fast forward sa second chance, ikinasal sila. However, nung ikinasal sila, hindi naman siya bed of roses. Uh, ang dami na naging problema. In fact, in the, in the movie A Second Chance, their marriage are on the rocks. Ang daming problema. Away sila ng away. And in fact, dun sa kainitan ng away nila, para bagang they were arguing about the what ifs. Anong sinasabi nila? What if di na lang tayo nagkabalikan? What if di na lang pala sana tayo nagpakasal? What if iba yung desisyon natin? Sana, yung ganun, dahil nagkakainitan na sila, sumbatan galor na. Sana hindi lang pinakasalan, ganyan-ganyan, etc. Kaya, muntik na sila maghiwalay. Actually, Popoy, yung bida, si John Lloyd, chose to walk away. Aayusin daw niya yung sarili niya, ganyan. So, chose to walk away. Aalis na. However, dun sa ending, he eventually found himself back in Bea Alonso's arms. In, in Basha's arms. And, There's this one beautiful quote, linya ni John Lloyd, ni, ni Popoy, na sinabi niya kay Basha. Sabi niya, eto, I'm saying goodbye to my what ifs. At ito sinabi niya, it's brave to ask what if, but I think it's better to ask what is. And you are my what is. Grabe yun. Alam nyo, sobrang totoo yung linya na yun ni Popoy. Mahirap buhay may asawa. Mahirap buhay single. And in our life, the truth is this. When we experience hardships and struggle, our tendency is to question our decisions. We are questioning our calling. We ask, what if I did this? And what if I did not do this? Or what if I chose this? What if I chose another path? Or what if I chose another person? What if? And when the going gets tough, then we are tempted to walk away from our calling. But most of the time, and I'm not just speaking about married life or single life, no. I'm speaking about God's calling for your life. And here's our problem. Most of the time, What we fail to realize is that the calling of God did not actually change. Oo, mahirap yung marriage mo. Pero you are still called by God to be married. It does not change. And in fact, God is not asking us to go or walk away or to choose another path most of the time. Because most of the time, I believe in this, most of the time, God is asking us to stay to be committed, to endure, to struggle. That's why I believe here's God's challenge for all of us. What does it mean to really embrace your season? What does it mean to embrace your calling? I believe that God is challenging us that wherever you are, don't just be there. Serve there. Serve there. You see, when God created you, He designed you to serve. And you will never experience deep fulfillment unless you follow your original design. Ang tanong ito, how should you serve? I believe God wants you to serve in your present state. Kung nasaan ka na. Again, wherever you are, be there. Are you married? Serve there. Are you in a difficult marriage? You, you love each other, but every day is a struggle. Away kayo ng away. Serve there anyway. Hiwalay ka ba sa asawa mo? Serve there, even with the pain. Hiwalay ka ba sa asawa mo at may bago ka ng kalivin at may tatlo kayong anak, isa dun sa dati mong asawa, dalaw sa partner mo ngayon, but you cannot yet get married in the church because your ex-wife or ex-husband does not want you to, to help you to get the annulment. What should you do? Serve there, even in the craziness. Biuda ka ba o biudo? Widow, widower. Serve there. Are you a consecrated celibate? Pari ka ba? Brother ka ba? Sister ka ba? Madre ka ba? Serve there. Single ka ba? At hinihintay mo yung one true love mo? 
serve there. Single ka ba at nakailang failed relationships ka na, pagod ka na magmahal, pagod ka ng umasa, pagod ka na mag-trust, pagod ka na mag-dating apps, serve there in your singleness. Are you single for a long time and you are so tired of waiting? Serve there. Are you single and have accepted the possibility na pwedeng single ka na talaga for life? Na baka hindi ka na nga talaga makapag-asawa? Please, serve there. Even if manungkot, even if you get lonely sometimes, serve there. Why? Wherever you are, serve there. Because life doesn't go as planned. And life is messy, magulo. You will always struggle. Laging mahirap ang buhay. But here's what I want you to do. In the middle of that mess, serve there. Again, my dear friends, wherever you are, don't just be there. Serve there. Be Jesus there. Be selfless. Be merciful. Be loving. Because that's the way to embrace your state of life, your calling, whatever it is that God is asking you to do. Wherever you are, serve there. Amen.